Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more topic in XML that is the syntax rules of XML document. XML syntax rules. So in our previous discussion, uh, we have seen the differences between HTML and XML in that we have discussed about one uh, difference that is HTML doesn't have any syntax check but here XML does the syntax check. So there are some set of rules we have to follow while writing the XML document and these syntax rules comes with a, a few aspects that means few aspects we have to follow the syntax rules. So first one is regarding the declaration regarding the declaration so XML declaration, so we have already seen this declaration in our uh, first video. So this is also known as prologue. So also known as prologue. Prologue means it's a declaration and uh, this is an optional. This is an optional. And if we are right, if you, if you want to write the declaration, so XML document should always start with this statement. Right? So that is the rule we have to follow. So XML document should always starts with prologue. Prologue. Prologue means a declaration, right? So it will be in the format question mark XML. Uh, next version, the attribute, it's a version for so 1.0 something else and encoding format, what is the encoding format and uh, standalone regarding the DTD and question mark, closer tag. So this is a syntax for declarations. Okay. And these are the rules we have to follow. So this is the main rule. XML document should always start with prologue if the user wants to include the declaration. And this is completely optional. And the second aspect is it among the tags or elements. So what are the rules we need to follow while writing the elements? So here all the elements are user defined. So user defined tags, user defined tags and the element should be written in between the delimiter. So element name should be written in between less than and greater than. So whatever the content we are writing in between this less than symbol and the greater than symbol will be considered as a tag, right? And there is an importance for the closing tag. So every open tag should be closed. Every open tag should be closed. So this is a opening tag opening tag and this is the closing tag closing tag right and also I'll, I'll continue the same thing here and also so contribution for this tags okay so all the tags all the elements or all the tags should be properly nested properly nested see what is meant by this properly nested so for example if I want to insert some bold and italic right so I am giving my name here so I should not write like this right I should not write like this this is not properly nested because bold 
and our inside the bold we are writing the italic tag so first we have to close the italic tag then only we have to close the bold tag so this is wrong and this will be the properly close the tag and close the bold tag so this will be the right answer this will be the right okay so like this we have to properly the tags should be nested properly the tags should be nested and one more thing it's a case sensitive case sensitive case sensitive means there will be a difference between the lower case characters and the upper case characters so x m l is not equal to x m l so both are different both are different so we should be very careful by writing these tags so whatever the tag we are writing at the opening that should be closed in the same manner so if we are using the lower case characters to open the tag and we have to use the same lower case letters to close the tag so that's a case sensitive the alphabet i mean the tags or elements which we are using in the xml are the case sensitive right next so this is about our tags and elements whatever the i mean the rules we have to follow while writing the tags or elements and the next one attributes the next one attributes so we know that for every element there will be a lot of attributes so an element an element can have multiple attributes so it is not restricted to have only single attribute so it can have a multiple attributes and each attribute should have single value each attribute should have only a single value and attributes should be unique there should no no duplications right attribute should be unique unique okay and attribute value should be quoted that means we have to enclose in quotations whatever the attribute we are writing so that should be uh, i mean double quoted right and attributes should be written only in opening tag so this is also one more important thing so whatever the attributes we are including so those attributes should be written in the opening tag itself not in the closing tag right so these are all the rules we need to follow while writing the attributes so every element will be having a lot of attributes right so and also we can say case sensitive here also the same rule which is nothing but a case sensitive so there is will be a lot of difference between the lower case characters and the upper case characters right yes and the next one next concept uh, we have to follow the syntax rules is references or a text references or a text references or we can call it as a text so not everything will be considered as a text here okay not everything will be considered as a text for example so if i want to write down here some uh, salary this is a tag and i i write some condition so if salary is greater than some 1 lakh and i close the salary here so i just want to include the content in this manner 
so whenever the user is able to write this symbol this automatically the xml will treat it as a closing symbol that means a delimiter so the tags should be enclosed in this in between these delimiters so that will be considered as a ending tag okay ending delimiter ending delimiter of a tag okay so in such cases we have to replace some sort of characters with ampersand lt so which displays the less than symbol lt lt no less than symbol and ampersand gt which displays the greater than symbol ampersand amp which will represent the ampersand symbol okay ampersand apos means apostrophe apostrophe ampersand quote quote means double quotations double quotations right so these are the different special characters we need to follow while writing the content so these are not a small character simple characters right so all these we call it as a entity references entity reference entity references okay entity references so all the references will be starting with ampersand symbol all the references will start with the ampersand symbol which is specific some specific functionality some additional text to be displayed in the xml document right so hope you understood so these are the rules we have to follow while writing the xml document and if any xml document which follows all these rules is known as well formed xml right so any xml document which follows all these syntax rules is known as well formed XML well formed XML. So this is called as a well formed XML. So whatever the rules we have discussed just now. So if any XML document follows all these syntax rules, so then we call it as a well formed XML. Right? So hope you understood these uh, syntax rules and we have to strictly follow these rules. Uh, if you violate any of the rule, definitely we'll get some errors. Okay, so we have to follow these syntax rules while reading the XML document. Right, let's stop here and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.